Today, our topic is RNA World and Properties of Genetic Material in Molecular Genetics, Unit 2, Chapter 5. We have seen the previous in the previous class uh, the DNA as genetic material and the chemistry of nucleic acids. And now we are going to see the RNA world. A typical cell contains about 10 times as much RNA as DNA. The high RNA content is mainly due to the variety of roles played by the RNA in the cell. So, more than DNA, RNA is present in a cell. Because RNA has so many roles compared to the DNA. Because the DNA just transfer the genetic material. But the RNA is assisting to transfer the genetic material. Not only in that, in protein synthesis also it plays an important role. Okay. So, that is it has various function. Okay. In the cell. Frankel, Connerat and Singer in 1957 first demonstrate that RNA is the genetic material in RNA containing viruses like TMV that is tobacco mosaic virus and they separated RNA from the protein of TMV viruses. So, Connerat and Singer had demonstrated RNA is also a genetic material in RNA viruses. And they separated the RNA protein that is RNA from the protein coat of TMV. And this is a diagram which is not in your book. How this RNA is helpful? You can see the RNA is a single standard. So it has ribozymes. So the from the DNA that is it has a ribosome, ribozyme enzyme, the RNA. With the help of a, that that is with the help of that, the inorganic sources, that is the RNA forms the inorganic sources. From that, with the help of ribosome, ribozyme, the RNA is self-replicating. And in the step 3, the RNA synthesizes, that is it keeping ready for the protein synthesis. And in next step, that is charged, it, char it giving the charges for new functions. Okay, for new functions. And here you can see RNA code for DNA, protein synthesis also with the help of uh, protein for both protein and DNA, it coding. That is RNA is coding. So, one part it becomes proteins and another part it is helpful in the DNA. Okay, so RNA is the main point. In the first step you can see. So, RNA it is formed from the inorganic sources. So, the one with the help of ribozyme enzyme, RNA is self-replicating. And another thing, it is ready for the protein synthesis. And next thing, it allowing the function, it allows the function, various functions. See here, it codes for DNA and protein synthesis. So, protein synthesis leads to the formation of proteins and DNA function. So, this is the RNA world. And this was not in your book. Now you can see when I read this. The three molecular biologists in the early 1980s, Leslie Orgel, Francis Brick and Carl Ouse, independently proposed the RNA world as the first stage in the evolution of life. A stage when RNA catalyzes all molecules necessary for survival and replication. So as what they are saying means, that RNA is ma mainly important because it catalyzes protein synthesis and DNA replication. It assists DNA replication. So, these three parts, that is, the, these three things are important. These things are important to lead a life. Okay. And this was discovered by the three scientists, Brick, Orgel and Ouse. The term RNA word first used by Walter Gilbert in 1986 and hypothesized RNA as the first genetic material on earth. So, who had given the term RNA word? Walter Gilbert in 1986. They may ask him one mark. And the first, the before DNA formation, RNA is the genetic material. He had given the hypothesis. 
so that means the earth is evolved during that time the rna is the genetic material in viruses and bacteria like that he concluded there is now enough evidences to suggest that essential life processes such as metabolism translations flying evolved around rna that is the metabolism the functions translation is the protein synthesis and splicing is the seen in the replication that is joining of dna segments these and all takes place by with the help of rna so rna has the ability to act as both genetic material and a catalyst so genetic material means it assists in the dna replication here and catalyst means for protein synthesis it is acting as a catalyst catalyst means it is acting as a catalyst so in your home you are preparing a curry in that curry if you don't put salt it won't be nice so there the, the catalyst is the salt like that rna is initiating the reaction to takes place so that is called catalyst and you have studied this catalyst in your chemistry class there are several biochemical reactions in living system that are catalyzed by rna so so many uh, reactions are taking place with the help of the catalyst rna in living things this catalyst rna is known as ribozyme so the catalyst in the rna is called ribozyme that is an enzyme which catalyzes for protein synthesis and replication but rna being a catalyst was reactive and hence it is unstable so the rna is unstable and it is faster due to this evolution is more stable form of dna so it within a second the rna can changes okay due to this the rna changes to dna that is the evolution occurs so the modification the chemical modification occurs in a fast state in rna to dna so and the dna is more stable as we know it is more stable and chemical modification is standard in dna and the dna is double standard while rna is single standard and dna can be repaired by its own because of the rna present in the cell some rna molecules functions as gene regulators by binding to dna and affect the gene expression okay they are acting as a gene regulators and they and they affect the gene expression also not to express this is not this is that is it, it is acting as an you uh, advantage there is useful one if the gene, dna has a repaired gene it is defective gene if the rna is there it won't allow to express if the rna is not there it will express and the genetic problem can occur and some viruses use rna as genetic material even now the corona virus is also the rna the rna is the genetic material okay some viruses use rna as the genetic material andrew fire and car mellow recipient of nobel prize in 2006 were of the opinion that rna is an active ingredient in the chemistry of the life so rna is too active compared to dna because it is helpful in replication of the dna and it plays an important role in protein synthesis and it is activating the so many enzymes as a catalyst also so due to this they concluded it it as rna as a rna that is the rna functions as an rna world and you have study the types that is r rna ribosomal rna transfer rna t rna and there is t rna mrna is the messenger rna these types in the 11th standard class you have studied it in detail and now we move on to the properties of genetic material so a genetic material should have the following properties first one is self replicating so both dna and rna are self replicating and to fulfill their that is to fulfill their wish they are self replicating they have the capacity to replicate or duplicate and the proteins fail to fulfill this criteria only dna and rna can replicate but protein cannot able to replicate because protein was synthesized by rna so they cannot able to replicate 
by its own that is the proteins. Next stability. So structurally and chemically they are stable and the genetic material is stable and they have no that is that is no change not to change they have they should not to change with different stages of life cycle that is age or change in the physiology of an organism. So listen when you are a baby the DNA is there present in your baby that is uh, with the chromosomes of 23 pairs and at your uh, old age also 23 pairs. So there is no change in the DNA or RNA present in an organism. So it is a stable property and it is evident that during the transformation that is transformation experiment that is Griffith experiment the DNA is stable one okay and information storage. So nowadays we are using the information storage as our cell phones mobile phones and but the naturally information storage of our forefathers of our characters is the DNA and it is transmitting to the next generation and even RNA is also a genetic material in some of the viruses it also stores the genetic information okay and the variation through mutation so DNA and RNA can undergo mutation but in DNA the mutation is stable if it affects it as stably it affected but in RNA it is unstable it is mutation rate is very fast as I said the RNA the, the RNA rate is very fast so it is unstable cannot able to stable there is no stability in RNA it, it go, goes on changing okay that means the mutation rate is also faster so RNA genome has shorter lifespan because of the faster mutation and fast faster in the changing so changing the RNA but DNA has stable because it is not too fast as RNA okay so these are the properties thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel